Hello vlog bays. welcome to the vlog. So today, me and baby are gonna be making burria tacos. And this is gonna be a vlog, but it's gonna kinda be a tutorial. You're gonna learn with us, okay? So I'm gonna show y'all everything. I'm gonna tell y'all the ingredients and I'm gonna also put them in the description box. So first, you're gonna need your seasonings. So this is tomato bouillon, chipotle, diced chipotle peppers, ground cumin, organic bay leaves or just any bay leaves, peppercorn, I'm not even going to embarrass myself by um saying this name but just it's kind of like mozzarella cheese but it's mexican cheese i'm not gonna try to pronounce that if you don't have this type of cheese you are more than welcome to use mozzarella cheese but we want it to be extra and keep it as authentic as possible as far as following the uh, mexican culture of making burrito tacos so you want to get make sure you have your um tortillas flour tortilla corn tortilla whatever you like you're gonna need beef broth. You're gonna need one white onion or whatever your proportions are, but this is what we're using. Four tomatoes, two cloves of, or clusters of garlic, um, cilantro. So you're gonna need three ancho or acho, ancho or ancho peppers. You need three of these. It keeps trying to focus on the onion. <laughs> but yeah, you're going to need three of these. So pretty. And then you're going to need 10 to 12 gajillo peppers. They look like this. They're very pretty too. The onion is just trying to get the spotlight. But yeah. So 10 to 12 of these. And 12 of these and three limes but the limes are going to be afterwards so whatever you decide to put on your burrito tacos you're going to use that for afterwards so don't worry about this this is what we're going to need to make the base with the chuck roast this is almost two pounds of chuck roast this is 1.82 pounds i put it in this bowl so that you can see it i'm about to get ready to wash it with a lime and some pepper i mean not pepper some salt make sure you wash and clean your meat okay please but yeah so i'm about to get ready to wash and clean this and i'm gonna brown it and then i'm gonna like show y'all so before i start anything i'm gonna go ahead and wash my chuck roast and i'm gonna use salt and a lime and i'm just gonna make sure it sits in there and i rub it down with that lime to get as much um to get it as clean as possible Now I'm washing my hands because after I touch any type of raw food, I do not like to touch anything else without clean hands. Now I'm going to cut the chuck roast into pieces to where it can cook more evenly as far as me um, searing it and browning the meat. So maybe like cut it in fours at first and if that feels a little bit too chunky, you want to go ahead and cut that into more smaller pieces. So here I'm browning it. You want to take a pan with olive oil in it and you want to let that go ahead and sear. Um, make sure you get every edge when you're cooking it. And yeah. 
all right so right here we are prepping our vegetables i'm just gonna cut the top part of the garlic and you're literally gonna leave it like that so afterwards you're just gonna be squeezing the bulbs out into the blender but i'll show you that part now i'm gonna uh, cut the tomatoes in four with onions also and line up the garlic tomatoes and onions on a pan season them with salt and pepper and go ahead and put them in the oven at 350 degrees for 30 minutes make sure you're checking on your meat you want it to sear like that that is beautiful and that's all you want so now we're gonna go ahead and de-seed or pit our um chili peppers out so this is the ancho or anchovy uh, ancho <laughs> chili peppers or just peppers in general so i don't have any scissors if you have kitchen scissors it's a lot easier because you just cut the tops off cut it down the side and just pit it pit the seeds out but I didn't have that, so I was fishing for a smaller knife to cut the sides, kind of like an envelope. And then that's when I would take the seeds out. So it's still easy either way, but it's much, much better with scissors. Much safer so you don't accidentally cut yourself. And this is how it is supposed to look. And you're going to do that with the other peppers also. Wait, that's not the... That's the ancho, ancho peppers. The other one is the... I can't pronounce the name. <laughs> but just the peppers in general. I already told y'all the peppers, so you'll be fine. But I just want to show y'all how challenging it is to get that one. You got to really do some work. But other than that, it's pretty easy. Next, we're going to go ahead and boil the beef broth. The purpose of this is to hydrate your peppers because the peppers are already dried out and dehydrated. So you'll know when they're rehydrated when the skin of the pepper is flimsy. And then we're going to go ahead and check to make sure that our chuck roast is browning on all edges. So once the broth starts to boil like this, that's when it's time to go ahead and drop those peppers in there. And however long it takes, just check on it, make sure it gets flimsy, and you'll be fine. Make sure they're all coated in that beef broth. so now our vegetables are hot and ready to be placed into the blender this is the pressure cooker you want to take a little bit of that sauce that you browned them in or like the seasoning and just put it at the bottom put the chuck roast inside of there and take the blended vegetables and place them inside the pressure cooker so in the blender you just want to blend everything up that's all you're doing and with the garlic you just squeeze out don't throw the whole thing in there you just squeeze out the um the bulbs that are in there and you strain it and if it's too thick you want to go ahead and pour some more of that hot beef broth in there or some water depending on what you want and it'll loosen it up and make it easier to go inside but ours was a little thick and that was fine because it was really good 
and this is me adding the seasonings inside which will be placed in the description box i know they were stated in the beginning but i'm gonna put them in the description box too you want to go ahead and mix and blend this up make sure the seasonings get all in there and into that chuck roast and then it'll be time to let it cook and it'll be cooking for an hour and 30 minutes on the poultry stew setting Don't forget to add your bay leaves. So it has been an hour and 30 minutes and now we're going to go ahead and let that pressure release. Do not open the top until the silver button inside goes down. Not the button but like the pressure indicator. And while that's doing that we're going to go ahead and shred the cheese. Remember you can use mozzarella cheese if you can't find this type of cheese. Um, but this is basically I want to say like Mexican mozzarella cheese but it's really really good. Oh, it tastes good by itself. I loved it. But yeah. So while that's doing that, we're just shredding it and making sure all that pressure gets out of there. It's going to be really, really hot. So make sure you be careful if you use a pressure cooker. If not, you can use the same big silver pot that we use to boil the peppers in. You can do it the old-fashioned way. It'll just cook. A, it'll take a little longer for it to cook versus just using a pressure cooker. let's prep our tacos so we have cilantro and onions and of course if you like anything else extra you can do that too like sour cream or whatever but we're just going to use these with limes and we're going to dip it into our burrito sauce or i forgot the name of the sauce but the sauce that was in the pressure cooker but you can add the onions inside of that sauce also or you can add it inside of your burrito tacos when you build it which we ended up doing both but whatever whatever you like So this is how our sauce came out. I think my boyfriend said it was like consume. Don't roast me if that's the wrong word because I don't know. But yours can be thinner. Just add more water or broth. Ours wasn't that thick. It was like in the middle. But at first we were like we wanted the consistency to be a bit thinner. But when we tasted it, we was like, nah, 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 nah. That, that's good. That's good. <laughs> so go ahead and dip your tacos in that sauce and fry it i suggest not to add any oil i know you can see my boyfriend added oil on there that will result in your tacos being um soggy i know you think you would think it would be crispy it's not because you already have wet sauce on top of oil it's not gonna um it's not gonna crisp like you want to but once we do the next set without olive oil they crisp like they're supposed to this is me shredding the cheese, shredding cheese. <laughs> this is me shredding the chuck roast with two forks. Again, do it as much or as little as you like, but remember that it is very, very hot, so be careful. I should have used a bigger dish, but I didn't hurt myself on it, so it's fine. And y'all, that meat was so good, oh my God having flashbacks it was so delicious we look at us 
we just taking pieces out to eat it but we did take some pieces out for the um tacos too so that's the part that you're looking at but that that chuck roast was delicious i do want to add i want to make it more spicier so we will probably remake this or like update this recipe to make it spicier so this recipe is for like mild tacos it's not really that hot but i have went ahead and added some chili powder to my sauce for for my tacos to dip in and it made it a little bit more spicy so you can do it that way or you know make the beef spicy also this is us adding more sauce on it to enhance the flavor of the taco shells it's not necessary you don't have to do it we were just trying different things to see how they would come out and of course we like a lot of cheese but yeah and this is when we did it without the olive oil on the pan y'all these tacos were so good if you try it let me know in the description box thank you so much for watching our first couples cooking video let me know if you like it and comment if you make tacos or you could comment if we made any mistakes we're trying to learn and we hope to bring more cooking videos to, to our channel and we hope you enjoy it don't forget to like comment and subscribe thank you yeah, I got feelings for you, that's the thing about it Yeah, you know that it's something when I sing about it Yeah, mama used to be on disability, but gave me this